Hello everyone. We are planning to release a series of MS500 videos to cover MS500 course contents after we really receive number of requests asking us to take them through MS500 course content. Especially once we released overview of MS500 a video, there were number of requests uh, asking number of questions and encouraging us to uh, you know, take them through uh, special or important areas in MS500 training. So this is going to be first video and I will take you through some of the areas which we cover during the first day of the training. Same way, I will be releasing uh, some other future videos uh, targeting MS500 course content. So let's begin for the first day and some of the areas I have already discussed and I have released, uh, for an example, uh, privileged access management and identity synchronization which are part of MS500 course. I have already released a few videos. You can find links to those videos in my description section and today I'm going to take you through for the first uh, day training of MS500. So this is uh, in, during first day we will be talking about managing Microsoft 365 identity and access. Under that we will be looking at uh, user and group security. Uh, second module during the first day is identity synchronization. Uh, about identity synchronization, I have already released a video. You can have a look at it. And also, I will take you through some of the theoretical and conceptual areas uh, in my next video. And uh, the third one is federated identities, especially when you implement Microsoft 365 product in a hybrid environment, connecting on-premises and hybrid on-premises on and uh, cloud environment on-premises and Microsoft 365 and the fourth one would be access management especially conditional access even for conditional access I have released uh, one of the videos I will attach the link to conditional access video uh, down there let's talk about users and group security so in, in Microsoft 365 there are a number of users that you can create using Microsoft 365 admin portal so I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to create users and what are the basic configurations that you can do and also the groups within Microsoft 365 so in this video let's look at users and group security let's begin this is my sample tenant once you logged in you would see something similar to this and if you go into admin section it will take us to admin portal and if you look at left top corner you would see active users, contacts, guest users, and deleted users. And if you click on add users, this is where you can add users. By going there, you can add users. It can be single user. If you want to create a single user or add single user, you can add, click on this, and you would see the first name, the last name, display name, username, and the password. So let's see, uh, let's uh, fill up this one. And you can select password or you can select auto generated password and you can configure a uh, user to reset it once they logged in and if you go in there you can assign licenses so when you're using microsoft 365 as i explained earlier microsoft 365 is a combination of three products as you see enterprise mobility and security office 365 and windows uh, 10 enterprise e3 and also it will be included office 365 f3 license so uh, you will have these three so when you assign this license to this particular user if you assign these three you would get uh, 54 applications after uh, according to microsoft 365 e5 license so let me create this one and if you go in there you would see the user role is already assigned or uh, selected so user role is non-admin users so most of the users in our tenant would be non-admin users so when you select user these users will have only user permissions if you need more access or more privileges you need to go into admin settings and probably if the user is exchange administrator for for an example so it's, you can select the user here if not you can select accordingly so let's talk about admin roles later but as of now you could see the categorized uh, admin roles for different uh, services 
and the device administration and the global administrator is the highest privileged account in Microsoft 365 system. And also you would see the number of identities within Microsoft 365. As of now, let's make this user a global administrator. And then you can go here and it will show you the review or the configurations that you have done and you can finish adding. So this is how you create a user uh, in Microsoft 365 admin center and then if you look at contacts so this is the second option that we have this is actually to add a contact so contact doesn't create any user within microsoft 365 system but it's mainly to uh, use to be used in a global address list so for an example a frequently contacted consultants I, uh, email address can be configured here if you look, go in there you would see uh, the number of uh, configurations first name second name display email address and company name and so on and so forth and you can add this user and also you can make by default this will be this will be this contact will be available in organizational address list but if you don't want to do that then you can block user here and if you go into active users then if you want to import number of users or multiple users this is where you can create it so if you go in there you can download the csv file or comma separated value file so it will have sort of a uh, columns that you would need to fill up in order to import uh, these two uh, active users list you would see here username first name last name display name job title and so on and so forth and you can get uh, you can fill it up if you have large number of users and if you are doing a lift and shift kind of migration you can use your active directory domain services set of users you can export it as it to a, a comma separated value uh, document and then you can upload the same document to microsoft 365 which will create the number of users if you need to create large number of users and also you can use powershell uh, if you need to use multiple users or you can export existing users the, using this uh, option and also, also if, if you go in there you would see guest users but you don't get any option to create guest user so guest users are the users that you want to uh, work with but they you don't want to create organizational account for them so only requirement is they want to have microsoft free account or their organizational account and even you can uh, invite guest users using google or yahoo email address so you can uh, request them or you can send an in invitation to these users but in order to add users or connect to this uh, tenant they need to have a microsoft free account or organizational account so if you go in there you would see new user option you have two options so invite user you can use even a microsoft non-microsoft account like gmail or yahoo but if sometimes you want to create a user with your uh, domain name so in that case you can select create a guest user with your own organizational email address so this user will be a guest user but still the user will have the same organizational email address right this can be useful if you use a hybrid configuration where you have number of users in cpanel or number of users in a non microsoft email system and other users are in Microsoft 365. So this is about user creation. And if you go into uh, admin center again, the next important thing is groups. So if you go in there, groups, you can create a group by just clicking on add groups and you would see there are three, four types of group groups. The first one is Microsoft 365 group, which is recommended within Microsoft 365 tenant. The reason is if you create Microsoft 365 group, it can be used within a tenant for multiple locations. For example, you can use same set of Microsoft 365 group within Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, Yammer group, and also Microsoft Teams. So that's the advantage of having Microsoft 365 group. And if you go into distribution group, it's a sort of a distribution list or distribution group within exchange online or email distribution and if you want to do uh, some permission configuration it can be sharepoint or onedrive then you want to create a security group and if you create mail enabled security group it will have a security group but email enabled so these are the options that we have within microsoft 365 admin center and i would like to show you 
some uh, important thing if you go into active directory and also i hope everybody knows pretty much this is clear whenever you create a user actually users are created on azure active directory so if you look at here in admin center if i click close this and if i go into active users you would see the number of users created in microsoft 365 are also available in uh, azure active directory right so actually uh, we are creating users through microsoft 365 admin center but real uh, scenario is users being created in Microsoft uh, Azure Active Directory and uh, if you go into uh, groups control so the groups and if you try to create a user a group here you would see there are few options available security or office 365 because this is uh, Azure Active Directory admin center but if you look at office 365 there are few member types available assigned users and dynamic users the difference between these two assigned users you need to assign static set of members so it's a static group where you can call it as it team or it group there you have specific number of users within the group but some cases you want to use a dynamic group which means you want to add a user based on an attribute so let's go in there see there dynamic user members so in order to add the users we need to create now a dynamic query so if you go in there you would see number of queries you can configure for an example you can add the city which is in the profile let's say city contains or city equal to colombo and then then it will you know city uh, equal to colombo if i save this this particular group will add or remove users based on the attribute uh, called city so if whenever you create a user in user profile if you assign city as a colombo the users will be added to this particular group and whenever when you change the city to let's say melbourne it will be changing the uh, user uh, group membership which means user will be removed from the Columbo group so this is about groups and users so i hope you understand how users and groups can be created in this video we discussed users contacts groups uh, security groups di distribution group dynamic group static groups and how to create these users and in my next video i'm going to talk about password management in microsoft 365 and also azure ad id protection so these are the two uh, topics that we want to discuss in my next video hope you enjoy this video thanks for weaving hope to see you in my next video